Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So I just actually recently went to my local Ikea. Uh, if you're following me on Instagram, you might've seen it because I typically kind of like use my Instagram stories as a way to, you know, go to stores and talk about things that are ugly, things that I like, things like that. We all have a good time. So if you want to follow me over there, you can kind of see it all real time. But anyway, I went to my Ikea and I found five items that I thought were really beautiful luxury items that kind of surprised me because you wouldn't suspect that they're from Ikea. You're not going to find a lot of the basic Billy bookcases and what ever here. These are five specific items that I found recently in my Ikea that really felt luxury to me, which was quite surprising because, you know, we love Ikea. They're really affordable, but, um, you know, sometimes they have some questionable choices and these items are not that. So let's go through some of those beautiful, gorgeous luxury items that I found. Okay, so first up on my list, and I, can I just say apologies to all the Swedes in the audience. I didn't have a translator here, so we're just going to wing some of these names. Sorry. First item here is called the Joffred Blanket. So the Joffred Throw is a really gorgeous fabric and it's really beautiful and it's really heavy. I was kind of struck when I was at the Ikea on how heavy this item was. A lot of the Ikea throws that are even just a little bit cheaper, like they're not even crazy cheap, but they're really, really thin. And that's not what I'm looking for in a throw. I'm looking for a throw that you can maybe curl up under and that's really got some weight to it. It's got a little bit of substance, right? Like you want something that feels substantial. And some of these really cheap sort of polyester throws are not it. They are just not doing it for me. But that is not what the Joffred is. The Joffred is actually 80% cotton, 20% linen, which is actually a really beautiful fabric. It's really heavy, as I said. It's really got some weight to it. And what I was so impressed by was the price point. $29.99 for this gorgeous throw, that's USD pricing, by the way, is really, really a great price point for this really high quality throw. I was really impressed by it. It's really, really beautiful. And as I said, quite substantial. So it's undyed, unbleached, and feels very natural. It's just really on trend right now to have these really gorgeous gorgeous warm neutrals, and that's exactly what the Joffrey really does for your space. Okay, the next item is this Vistoft rug. I really loved the pattern that was on this Vistoft rug. I thought it was really gorgeous. It's this warm neutral, and what's really interesting about it is the fabric. The fabric is 90% sisal and 10% jute. So if you're not familiar with what sisal is, it's actually a fiber that is derived from the agave plant, which I didn't know, but it was on the back of the tag, so now I'm sharing it with you. And um, I think it's really, really cool. It's like got this, it definitely has a look and feel, like a jute rug but again it's got this really gorgeous subtle pattern to it it's not something overwhelming it's just this really gorgeous pattern it doesn't feel as plain as some of the other jute rugs that they offer which are also gorgeous by the way from ikea but this one just felt a little bit special and i thought it was really neat that it kind of had a different fabric so it wasn't 100 jute but it was a 90 percent sisal 10 percent jute blend and it was really kind of a nice again really heavy substantial rug but it really sort of feeds into that warm neutral space using natural fibers which is something that i'm all about i'm really loving that look right now i know so many of you are too so I think this is definitely a rug worth checking out. Okay, next up here is the Rensker pendant. I'm going to assume that little G is silent, but you know, we'll find out. I'm sure the Swedes will tell me in the comment section. Okay, so these pendants are a fabric pendant, which I think is really cool. It's not a paper pendant like we have seen from the Regolit, which is a pendant that I don't care for. I believe I touched on this in another Ikea, my Ikea buy this, not that video. I don't care for the paper pendant, but I did like this fabric pendant because I thought you know, it feels a little bit more luxurious. The shape of it is really cool. There's two varieties. There's sort of this big glow ball, and then it's kind of this like squished disc, which just kind of feels a little bit like it sort of feels like a sort of Herman Miller sort of vibe to it. So if you're not familiar, Herman Miller has a collection of a whole bunch of these different pendants, which are gorgeous, by the way. But there's a big difference between the $29.99 pendant that you can get at Ikea versus the $650 pendant that you can buy from Herman Miller's. But what's beautiful about this fabric pendant is the way that it filters the light, I think is really cool. I don't know if I've mentioned on this channel before, but I want to mention it here. Diffuse light is a really key aspect to your lighting to really help soften the light and make it a lot more attractive. So, you know, I deal with that here on camera, on YouTube all the time. If I had really harsh lighting, um, I wouldn't look as great on camera, but because I've got a diffuse light box, it sort of helps filter the light. It spreads the light apart and sort of makes it a lot softer and more flattering on people. So what I love about these pendants is because they're a fabric pendant is you're still able to sort of see the light, but it's a diffuse light, which makes it really soft and elegant in your space. It comes in this really gorgeous white color, but it's also got this pinky color, which kind of looks a little bit orangey in person. So go to your Ikea and check it out to make sure that it's gonna fit with your palette. It might also change depending on the color temperature of the bulb that you use, but it is actually a slightly pink pendant. And I think it's really gorgeous and definitely worth checking out, especially if you're looking for a pendant. It's a little bit different, but it's kind of got this cool little elegant look to it. But again, the cost on it, I mean, 25 bucks, 30 bucks, these pendants are a steal at that price. 
Okay, and next up on my list is the Upvind floor lamp. This is a really beautiful floor lamp. It reminds me a lot of a quite sort of famous floor lamp that I see a lot of people posting about from Restoration Hardware or RH, and that is their Clark lamp. So it's quite similar to that. The Clark lamp has a little bit more of some harder edges. They're a bit more squared off. The Upvinds is a little bit softer. It's got some rounded corners and I quite like it. It's very elegant. It comes in a brushed nickel and it comes in a brass. I'm really partial to the brass, but it is beautiful. And at 99 bucks, it's a really great price point. This is a really great option for someone that kind of wants that restoration hardware look. Uh, you sort of maybe fell in love with that lamp or you really love their floor lamps. This is a really great option from Ikea. 99 bucks, like I really think you can't go wrong here. Okay, and then the next up on my list is the Fjellhamar. Oh, that one was... Sorry, that was a really difficult one. And this is a bamboo sliding door that fits on the PAX wardrobe system. So if you're not familiar with the PAX wardrobe, I actually have a review on it, by the way. You can check it out from ages and ages ago. But the PAX wardrobe is their sort of walk-in closet wardrobe system. They have at Ikea and they have lots of different door front options. And I thought the one that really surprised me when I was at my local Ikea was this bamboo sliding door. I think it looks really, really cool. It's got these bamboo finish on the front and sort of these horizontal pattern, but it's still got this black detail detailing around the edge, which kind of gives me sort of a Japanese Zen sort of vibe to it, which I think is really, really interesting. And again, it's made of bamboo, so it's kind of got this soft textured finish on it. I think it's really neat. I'll be honest, I'm kind of seeing some mixed results on whether or not this is even in your IKEA. So if you are interested in getting it, I would really head down to the store fairly quick because I think this might actually be a discontinued product eventually. So I would say run, don't walk if you're really interested in this because it is a really beautiful finish. I think IKEA should consider keeping this around for a little bit longer term because this is a really great option for people that love the PAX wardrobe but maybe aren't super in love with all the door finish options. This is probably the one that I would say is kind of the one that appeals to me the most. I think it's really, really cool. And again, the PAX system is a gorgeous system. It's got tons of different components that make it really easy to use. Again, if you want to check out my review, go check it out there too. But definitely consider this bamboo option if it's available at your local IKEA. That's it for me for today, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I'm gonna link here to my affordable IKEA items that look high-end video, kind of similar to this one. That one, this one's touching on more of the luxury IKEA products. And those are also some affordable options that really look high-end, that are quite surprising. So I think you'll get a lot out of that video if you enjoyed this one. So I'll see you all over there. Thanks a lot, bye.